Hi everyone, I'm Gurvesh Bhutiani from Samsung and very excited to be here again for Synergy. I'll be talking about what we are doing together with uh, Citrix and uh, Samsung together uh, mobili in your mobilization journey, in your digital transformation journey. So we see in uh, uh, the trend today around the changing workplace. Uh, if you know your uh, offices uh, today have millennials already in there. A few years ago we were talking that they're coming, now they're there. Everybody likes to do uh, everything on their mobile devices as much as possible, and they want to be able to work anywhere, anytime, without any restrictions. They want access to everything, even the most secure, uh, most uh, classified information that the IT considers to be very protected. They want it in the palm of your hand. And at the same time, they want a very easy user experience. Uh, they want everything in one place. So if you were at the keynote a few days ago, uh, Citrix made a giant leap in that direction with the intelligent workspace unifying the entire user experience. And of course, nobody wants to carry 10 laptops or 10 devices. They ideally want to lighten their load and uh, you know, uh, still be able to do everything they need to do for work. So Samsung is really well positioned uh, to enable your employees uh, to be able to do all of this. We have a very open partner ecosystem. We collaborate with partners such as Citrix uh, to uh, come out with best of breed solutions to your problems. And at the same time, we offer software platforms that enable deep level of customization that only we as an OEM can provide. Uh, in addition, we also provide a management framework uh, to help you control uh, literally everything on the device. Uh, we have partnerships with uh, Citrix UEM team uh, where they enable you to lock down the device to a certain mode uh, and give you a very high level of control over what an end user can do, yet be productive. And at the same time, we also have built in over the last six or seven years the most secure mobile platform through our Nox platform for our enterprise. So I'll be covering all these a bit more, but uh, let's start with Samsung DeX. This is our productivity play. Uh, we launched DeX about uh, two and a half years ago or so with our Galaxy S8 launch, and uh, Citrix was actually our launch partner. Uh, we were at Synergy, we talked to a lot of customers, we got a lot of feedback, we used that to refine, and this is where we are today. So just for those who don't know what this is, uh, this is our Samsung desktop experience. Uh, essentially, every Samsung device, flagship device, the Galaxy series and the Note series, uh, starting with the Galaxy S8, uh, have this feature embedded into the platform, which is that you connect this, uh, device to a, a monitor or a display, any display. As you can see, this is just a projector. Uh, and uh, even this should work. So the phone will turn into a new, different kind of a user experience uh, with true multitasking. Uh, if you connect your keyboard and a mouse, uh, your old USB keyboard and mouse will work if you have the right uh, attachment. Uh, and uh, essentially, you're able to function or use your phone just like a Windows PC. So every application, every Android application uh, transforms into a separate window, and you can you know, drag and drop content across windows if the IT policy allows that. You can uh, cut and paste across, you can do a right, uh, mouse right click. And so essentially we mim mimicked everything that's in an operating system that you're used to for PCs and laptops. And uh, you have the, exactly the same user experience on a Samsung, from a Samsung device. So when we launched this desktop experience, we had our own hardware, we called it the Dex Dock. You had to buy that. The evolution was of that was the Dex Pad. Again, these were the two only options you had to be able to use this functionality. Now, uh, starting two months ago, all of our devices, uh, including the S8 devices, which were first launched originally, uh, are, uh, can, will go into Dex mode with any uh, hardware that is available in the market that, in, uh, that is essentially a USB-C to HDMI converter. So uh, you, can, you can use something from Amazon. Uh, I think the 
MacBook comes with this dongle. Stick this into your Galaxy phone. Put a HDMI, mouse, keyboard, and it'll just go into the Dex mode. So essentially, we've opened up the entire ecosystem. Uh, you can also use just a simple connector and start using Dex in Dex mode. So that's one of the big changes uh, we have done, which is we've opened up the ecosystem. The second change we did was uh, that you know we started uh, about a year, six months ago. Uh, we had this mode that we call a dual mode. So essentially, when we launched first, uh, you could only use the screen that you see on the display. So if you connected, connected it to a display, you would uh, only get this view, which is the desktop mode, and uh, your phone would just phone screen would turn off. So we went back and said, OK, we'll enable the phone screen for you. There'll be the Android experience on the phone and the desktop experience on your monitor. So essentially, you know, you're working, you're WhatsApping on your phone and on your laptop, you're doing your work. You have a very similar user experience again now once we enable this dual mode. Then another change we did was a lot of times when you're traveling, you can you know, go to the hotel room, connect your phone to a TV in the room, and then you're not really carrying a keyboard and mouse with you unless you buy something expensive, expensive which is really portable. So what we did is we enabled the keyboard and mouse on the phone itself. So there's a mode where you can select a setting and your phone display becomes a mouse pad. You can navigate the mouse. Uh, uh, you know the mouse pointer using the phone display, and the minute you are in a at a point where you have to enter something, for example, you have a web browser, you type www, the keyboard pops up on the phone itself, and you can start typing. So this is really uh, good for those short workflows where you need to do something very quick, but you're not carrying your keyboard and mouse. So this experience is really uh, good, and it's available to you. So going down to what we've done with Citrix. Uh, so we talked to a lot of our government customers actually at Synergy uh, over the last two years on uh, what, what do people want. And for our government customers, uh, the CAC card authentication, the common access card, was a key need where uh, they usually use a USB uh, CAC card reader such as this shown over here. And uh, they use this card to authenticate into Windows virtual desktops running in the cloud and other virtual ap applications that are delivered by Citrix. So we uh, worked with Citrix to enable the same experience on our Galaxy phones. Today, you can uh, take this USB-C uh, based, USB based CAC card, plug it in, and uh, open your uh, VD uh, VDI application, your Windows desktop and authenticate with the CAC card using a PIN. It's the same PIN that you use for your uh, normal uh, login. It just works over here. So what else did we do? We, uh, like I said, we have a platform that enables management. And we included certain management features uh, when the phone is in the DEX mode only for the DEX experience. So these don't apply to the rest of the phone. These policies apply only to uh, the part of the phone which is rendered on your desktop uh, or on your monitor or on your TV. So we've implemented policies for either customization of your user experience, such as the wallpaper, or you, know, you can uh, put a browser, uh, you can place a browser there using an API, and you can peg it to the home page, and when somebody clicks there, it always goes to the home page. So think about like uh, someone joining a new company, they get a brand new laptop, uh, the, two people get it, it looks the same, uh, they have all the applications set in an area, uh, they have uh, the home page set to a certain page. So this is the exact experience you can mimic uh, together with uh, Citrix UEM and uh, our DEX management policies. Citrix UEM supports this today, both uh, natively by using the SDK and also using our uh, Knox service plugin, which I'll talk about. Uh, another thing customers to talk to us about was that uh, they want some automation around this DEX experience. So what they were asking is, especially in hospitals, uh, where, they, uh, where the EMR application, which is uh, for accessing patient records, is delivered over uh, VDI using Citrix, uh, they wanted this to be popped up automatically uh, as soon as you go into the DEX mode. Uh, and then we heard more and more use cases like that, and then we offered this policy 
which really automates your experience. So as soon as uh, uh, you plug it in, uh, you can now configure any application you want to auto-launch as soon as you plug the device in Dex mode. And that uh, has been a need from a lot of our customers, so you might just find this very useful for your organization also. So going back to like what's new with Samsung again, uh, initially when we launched, there were no tablets that supported this experience. Uh, then we launched a Tab S4 uh, device, which uh, completely supports DeX. But what is new in the Tab S4 is that the DeX experience is available on the tablet itself. So normally when you take the tablet and it's not plugged into the DeX mode, uh, then you know the Android experience is there with no, uh, no or minimal multitasking that we offer, which is just two apps. But with this, uh, uh, with this Galaxy S4, what we launched is uh, DeX on tablet, which is essentially uh, giving you the same multi-user experience, multi-windowing experience. You can connect a keyboard, a mouse like this with the tablet and start working in the DeX mode uh, on the tablet itself. So think about the case where you are in an airplane or where there is no display available readily and you have some complicated workflow like uh, updating an Excel sheet that's really complicated. It's very difficult to do that in the Android experience or even in the Android app. Uh, especially, uh, so that is where Citrix also comes in, uh, by the way. So Citrix offers the U full capabilities of Microsoft Office products, full use of, uh, you know, full capabilities on Excel. So really you are literally carrying your, uh, everything you need for work in, in your pocket essentially. Uh, once you, uh, you know, look at this tablet and uh, you use the Dex mode either on the tablet or with a display. So one of the new things that we've come, uh, come looked at, uh, and this is again going back to our conversations. Uh, first time we launched, we met with customers over here at Synergy, and some customers asked us for a clamshell laptop, which is just a keyboard and a display. There's no CPU here, no storage, no memory. There is nothing. It's just a dummy uh, keyboard and a dummy uh, display. And uh, it has a USB input, we, uh, USB-C cable that is, uh, goes into the phone. And essentially, the, the DeX experience is now av available over here. So again, now if you don't have a tablet, uh, you prefer to have the phone form uh, factor just like me, I don't like tablets. Uh, this is a great thing because this is a low cost uh, device, uh, probably between $200 and $300. Uh, that you can use together with a phone in the DeX experience. And then uh, when you uh, include uh, the Citrix workspace with you know, your full suite of enterprise applications, internal applications, or vir Windows virtual desktops, or you know, your on-premise desktops, then it's like a complete experience that you have over here without actually needing a real laptop or a desktop. So we found over the last few years a lot of uh, uses of uh, DeX as such, both uh, consumer, SMB, which I call the prosumer, uh, and also in enterprise. So I'll go through some of these uh, in a bit, uh, skipping a few slides. So we, we're talking about uh, um, banking. So a lot of banks use Citrix uh, uh, as their uh, VDI provider of choice and uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, internal applications. So we spoke to a bank, they literally had over 2,000 internal applications that are delivered by Citrix over VDI. So they were very interested in DEX, and uh, what they were trying to do is transform their retail banking experience. If you know what's going on in retail banking, people hardly show up at the bank. So when they show up, uh, it's an opportunity for the bank to capture interest from the customer, upsell different products to them, and engage with the customer in a very different way uh, to, you know, uh, both for customer retention, but also upselling other things. So we worked with a few banks to come up with the concept of retail bank of the future. And DEX is key to this uh, uh, play or this overall narrative on the story. Uh, so the, when it comes to just DEX, uh, what we are talking about is an experience where a customer walks into the bank, uh, greeter ge greets them, asks them what they're here for, they find the right person, that person hands them 
uh, tablet, uh, and you know, uh, well, they they go through the various products they have on their tablet with you know deep level of engagement. Once uh, uh, then they show them around the bank what they have, and then they sit down at the desk. That's where the uh, this particular bank literally handed off the tablet to the customer and plugged the tablet into their monitor. So the customer had an application which is very customer centric completely different application running on the tablet, and the banker had their internal finance app that they need to, uh, as they open a new account, and the customer enters the information on the tablet itself. It is synced in the cloud, goes to the banking app, uh, which on the monitor, they can see that, and once everything is fine, customer needs to sign sign somewhere and to seal the deal. They just uh, take the tablet and sign on the tablet itself and go. So this enhances the overall customer experience. But in addition, it is also a total cost benefit to the bank. So look at a bank that has, I don't know, 10,000, 30,000 branches. Each bank has uh, a few hundred tablets, uh, so total management of like 60,000 devices. So this cost difference adds up significantly. And uh, so even though this is a retail bank branch uh, narrative that we just talked about, but this is appli applicable to any retail uh, scenario which requires a high, deep level of uh, customer engagement. For example, uh, a car dealership, right? That's where you show stuff around, you do do a bit of stuff, you take the test drive, and then this back and forth happens. So, uh, so it's not just a banking, uh, retail banking that we're talking of here, but this could apply to a, a variety of scenarios. Then public safety. This is where we're doing a lot of stuff with police departments all over the world. So as I said, we've opened up the ecosystem to third party uh, uh, you know, uh, third-party providers who can build displays and keyboards and dongles. So we worked with uh, a few providers who specialize in this area, uh, offering uh, tough, uh, ruggedized uh, uh, hardware for uh, police cars. So if you look at a police car, inside there's a, a tough book or a laptop, uh, which is ruggedized. And uh, we are talking to all of them on replacing them with this clamshell ruggedized uh, uh, display and keyboard together with a Samsung Galaxy device. So this uh, this actually streamlines their overall workflow. When they step into the car, they dock the phone, and their VDI session or whatever they use pops up automatically, and then uh, they access the information. Then they take it, take the phone out when they need to leave the car, and the same information is available to them automatically in the palm of their hand. They don't need to do anything to get back to where they were. And same thing when they do something while in the field, go back into the car, they get back to the exact same workflow. They don't have to log in again, find the same application, find the same information. So this is streamlining their overall workflow. But again, it's a big cost saving on their side. So that's why we're getting a, a lot of interest from all police departments, not just in the US, but Canada, Europe, uh, and even Asia in some cases. So hospitals. We found uh, a lot of use cases in hospitals, but the key ones, uh, and this is really because uh, of high uh, touch usage of uh, Citrix VDI for electronic medical apps. So all these applica uh, applications, uh, their mobile versions aren't really very functional. So they always have to go back to the room, log into their se VDI session, and uh, put notes there. And then on top of that, if they need to uh, order a prescription, they need to use uh, a PC in the back. Uh, that wastes a lot of time. So what we've done is we're working with all the hospitals in the US uh, presenting this scenario where they're able to like get the patient record automatically by scanning a tag. And then in the patient uh, room itself, they can connect it to the DEX uh, monitor and laptop, go into the DEX experience, pull up the patient record from the VDI automatically because of our automation features. And uh, then uh, you know they can either do their ordering right here or go back to wherever they normally go, plug the device in, 
and then do the ordering right away instead of having to log out, log in all the time, do this authentication. So this saves not only a lot of time, but also the headache of going between devices and applications and logging in and out. Uh, at the same time, if you notice some of these nurses stations or what they call is a computer on wheels, uh, they have this huge uh, PC that's on top and they're dragging this around the hospital. So we've managed to replace, uh, together with Citrix actually, because uh, these are again using VDI behind the scenes for uh, patient records. So we've replaced that whole heavy desktop with just one phone, which is really light. So uh, like I said, in the desktop experience, right, so uh, a lot of stuff can be done on the phone itself, but then there are certain scenarios where you need a bigger screen uh, like uh, you know, looking at some imagery or uh, ordering, and that's where uh, Dex plays a good role. So I'll skip this. Now going back to security. So as you know, we've always had a, a security platform. We've kind of rebranded things, and uh, we're calling the native security that is built into the device when you buy a consumer device out of the box. We're referring to it as a Knox device platform. And so when you, as a consumer, when you buy a Samsung device, it comes with this knock security that uh, turns on as soon as you hit the power button, essentially. So from a knock perspective, we have platform security that you know, uh, as soon as the device boots up, it validates uh, the software on the device. It continuously monitors for uh, uh, any threats. There is real-time kernel protection. There's a slew of features that you probably already know about. And all this kicks in as on any device. Then enterprise features are unlocked by a, a UEM, such as Citrix UEM, and I'll cover those later. But this is where we are today on mobile uh, devices, such as smartphones and tablets. We've already ported our Knox device platform, this inherent security, uh, onto our uh, wearable watches. And uh, these. Uh, are also now uh, manageable. We've ported other uh, management features onto our watches, so you can have uh, device management of not only Android devices, but also our Tizen wearables. Down the line, our intention is to, since you know Samsung offers a lot of other hardware, TVs, uh, appliances, and in today's world, we are connecting everything, putting a SIM in them or connecting them to the network. As soon as you connect a device to the network, it becomes vulnerable, and that's where we've decided that over the next few years, every connected device from Samsung will have the Knox device platform embedded for inherent security. So going back to uh, where we are with Knox for, and where Knox is going. So you, you probably understand that Knox is a security and management platform that we've offered all along. But now we are moving towards security intelligence and analytics. We have a lot of uh, information on the device available to us, which is never used by anyone. But for enterprise uh, devices that are corporate liable, and uh, locked to an EMM, uh, we are looking at uh, providing several features that help them analyze data for contextual security. So we al already have had something for a few years which is called network platform analytics. This is the capability to give uh, a third party uh, access to uh, the metadata of all the network packets going around. What that means is that you can find out uh, which application is talking to which other IP address outside and how many bytes of data have been flown through. So all this information is already available today. It's only being used by uh, a product from Cisco called StealthWatch. But now we are looking at opening this up and providing more actionable information to you beyond just uh, metadata from packets. So today, our Knox portfolio is really now this uh, device platform that I just talked about, but also a set of cloud services we offer. So if we look back five years from now, uh, well, five years ago, uh, we were the only security platform around. Then we worked with Google slowly to harmonize any, everything and align with them. And after uh, about the last two years of effort, We've uh, worked closely with Google to align on their Android Enterprise Initiative. 
So going back to what we do with Android Enterprise, we build uh, on top of their platform now. So we will always have a set of differentiated features, and they will be built on top of what Android offers. And starting the next device, I think there will be no duplication of features whatsoever. Uh, so that you know, you, it is very clear that you use Android for this, and then on a Samsung device, th these are the differentiated things. And these apply to Samsung only, and that is offered by what we are calling the Knox platform for enterprise now. So we are rebranding, repositioning Knox as a platform, uh, which is available to all uh, uh, ecosystem partners to do what they need to do. But on top of that, we've built our own cloud services. So Knox Configure is a cloud service we've built out for uh, initial configuration of a device uh, and also uh, what's unique about this is it lets the configuration to persist over a factory reset. So if so you give a device to someone and they decide to just take it away, factory reset it, it'll go back to the same state. Uh, when you look at Knox Mobile enrollment, this we've had this for several years. Now you have with Android Zero Touch. Uh, so we continue to support our Knox Mobile enrollment or, on our devices, but we are aligning with Google to streamline this so that the end user does not have a make uh, does not have to make a choice what to do and I'll cover that a bit and of course uh, Citrix is using our platform capabilities in their UEM and you have access to everything we also offer uh, an enterprise photo service for managing software updates uh, you have full control of which version of software uh, you uh, you want to push to a set of devices uh, at what time and uh, you can also uh, set something that says force update this device. So today, if, uh, if you, uh, you know, do a software update, the end user has to say yes. But in the force update mode, uh, it'll just or, uh, update it. And if you set up a policy to update uh, all engineering devices at 4 AM, uh, that policy will kick in without any end user involvement. The devices will be updated and ready to go. So going back to what we are doing with Google again, uh, I talked about uh, you know, us having a set of extra policies, and that's what this is. So we have this real-time kernel protection. Uh, we have a, a separate uh, VPN features. We have sensitive data protection. And all of these things have come from requests from our customers. So we work with customers uh, from go all government organizations. And that is, uh, you know, we worked over the last several years. And now we have. Uh, certifications for uh, using our devices in government for across about 20 or 30 governments all over the world. So again, going back to what we're doing with Google uh, and uh, Knox uh, mobile enrollment, uh, we have provided all resellers a special uh, uh, library where you know they have this ability now to uh, say that if it is a Samsung device, then this library will automatically send the request to the Samsung KME servers. If it is a non-Samsung device on Android Enterprise, then automatically the request will go to Google Zero Touch servers, so that from an end user perspective, they don't care what is happening behind the scenes, the device is getting enrolled. But we've also now worked with Google's OEM config to offer a Knox uh, service platform and this Knox service platform is associated with an application uh, called Knox plugin, Knox service plugin. So you will see a lot of uh, terminology or abbreviations from us, uh, like uh, KP, which is Knox platform for enterprise, but KSP is this new Knox service plugin that ties into the OEM config that Google is offering. Uh, what this is is this is an app that so we've built a service around this. Uh, to manage feature uh, features that we roll out. We build an app with all the latest and greatest features that uh, we build on our platforms. And uh, we uh, put this application into Google Play. This uh, application is called Knox Service Plugin. And it ties into Citrix UEM, or literally plugs in like this picture shows. Uh, and once, the, once we've integrated with the Citrix UEM, which is already done, uh, Citrix can install this app, and automatically all the new policies we built show up on the console without them having to do any other code development. 
So, so uh, as this is GA already, next month we will release uh, another version of our Knox service plugin. And uh, if the UEM installs that, automatically all the new policies will show up in your console and you'll be able to uh, use them right away without having to wait for a year or six months or whatever time it takes for Citrix to build policies around this. So this is uh, the Knox service platform and the plugin that I just talked about is phase one. As I uh, said earlier, we are putting Knox on all kinds of devices. We already have, have it on our variables and TVs. So we're going to exp extend this platform, the Knox service platform, uh, to our other devices. So you might be wondering why we are not just calling it OEM config, because really our intention is to use the same uh, uh, mechanism of having a, a app uh, from us where we build all the features and then we give the EMM the ability to uh, do management of all our other devices also. So we'll do all the work behind the scenes and there'll be a new application that uh, Citrix UEM can uh, install on the device automatically all the device management policies of our watches will show up in the console and you'll be able to manage uh, any of these variable devices that we have. Then going forward, we'll do it for TVs, we'll do it for everything else we, uh, we put Knox on. So this is just an overall view of you know, our service platform uh, and its modules. There'll be endpoint management, there'll be firmware control, device attestation, uh, security policies, and even our security analytics that I talked about earlier will be available through this uh, plugin. So we announced this Knox service uh, platform and plugin at MWC, and we did a press release. Citrix was part of our launch, and uh, we have demos over here at our floor. Uh, so if you're interested, come by and take a look. So shifting gears to the next big thing that everybody's talking about, 5G. So Samsung is an uh, interesting company in the sense that we are probably one of the two companies in the world that does everything end to end all the way from devices to uh, different kinds of endpoints and then several services, but also we uh, build the core network equipment that carriers deploy to offer you mobile services, including data services. So we have the end-to-end -end view. So 5G is very exciting for us. But even more so, 5G is, why, why am I talking about 5G here, over here in this setting is that 5G has enterprise-centric features that will be available in the market after the initial launch. So for the first time, the cellular uh, standards have been built with uh, enterprise-centric approach and consumer-centric approach together out of the door from the beginning. It's always enterprise has been an afterthought and you, you know, they try to satisfy some of the use cases and they've done, not done a very good job at it. But uh, with 5G, well, they, they're going to build out certain features uh, enabled by a few technologies such as network slicing that give you guaranteed quality of service and SLAs associated with it across different kinds of applications. So of course, with 5G, you are aware it's a massive amount of uh, speed and bandwidth. So uh, today, what is available is peak speed of one gigabytes per second, but this is going to step up to about 10 gigabits per second. And th they have also carved out the network such that they can offer very low latency all the way from standard uh, network uh, latency of about five milliseconds down to one millisecond for different applications like vehicle to vehicle or vehicle to X communications for autonomous cars and uh, smart cities for IoT. And you know they have a separate section uh, of the standard for uh, your IoT devices. So there's a slew of uh, products and services uh, catered to the enterprise that uh, will come out in the next few years uh, once uh, 5G is prevalent in the market. So with that, I will show a short video that actually lets you see our vision of what 5G can do.
Well, that's it for me. I uh, hope you have a great synergy and thanks for joining this presentation.